Well, hello again, everyone. I'm Art Rugger from FoxSportsDetroit.com. We're here at Joe Lewis Arena, the site of Game 4 between the Detroit Red Wings and the Boston Bruins, happening tonight at 8 o'clock. It's an 8 o'clock face-off. Uh, crucial game for the Red Wings. They now trail the Bruins two games to one in their best of seven uh, quarterfinal series between uh, the Wings and Bruins. So this is a huge game for Detroit. And the news coming out of here is Henrik Zetterberg. The captain today skated on the line with uh, Pavel Datsuk and Justin Abdicator during the, the morning skate. And he also was on the first power play unit. However, it's as official as unofficial can be. It does appear that Zetterberg is going to be in the lineup. But as I speak to you right now, he is visiting Red Wing team doctors which will give the final okay. Uh, Detroit Red Wing coach Mike Babcock said that at this point, because Zetterberg was able to practice and able to skate, and this is crucial because yesterday he practiced a full practice and was able to go again today, which is really what he was more concerned about, how he would feel the next day after a full practice. Obviously, he felt well enough to skate with the team, so that is a good sign. That is a very good sign. However, as Coach Babcock pointed out in his uh, uh, little uh, post uh, press conference he just had, he said, listen, we won't know until after the warm-up tonight of whether he's officially in or not. We really won't know. The doctors will make the final decision. As I said, Zetterberg is, uh, is visiting them. Now, what does uh, uh, Zetterberg bring to the table? Well, Babcock had a very interesting quote. He says, I don't care if he just sits on the bench and just says things to the guys. That's good enough for me. He provides leadership. That was the word that everybody talked about today was leadership. Is that a bird there? He's a calming influence and he is a leader. He leads by example, but much like Steve Eiserman, when something needs to be said, Zetterberg is not afraid to say it. So hopefully Z will uh, get the clearance from the medical team. And tonight at about 8.02 or so, he'll be out on the ice with his Red Wing teammates as they take on the Bruins. Now, Todd Bertuzzi is also in. He was on the line with Riley Sheehan and Thomas Tatar. Hopefully he can settle those two youngsters down. He'll bring size and presence, obviously. Bertuzzi was also on the first power play unit uh, for net presence in front of Tuka Rask. Bert's a big guy. He kind of joked around and said that... Uh, Zetterberg's return was overshadowing his return because he has not played the playoffs yet. But uh, hopefully a good veteran calming influence, uh, Todd Bertuzzi, will be uh, for the Red Wings. And hopefully he'll be able to screen Tuka Rass, especially on the power play. I think the Red Wings are now like 0 of 22, including the regular season on their power play. That has to get better. And also, Daniel Alfredson. Uh, did not practice today. He is out of the lineup, according to Coach Babcock. Alfie should be okay for the Sunday afternoon game, 3 o'clock faceoff against the Boston Bruins. Now, the Red Wings to a man talked about obviously starting on time, but they really just said it basically comes down to we have to play better. We have to fight through it. We know what Boston is doing. If that means we play a little more of a dump and chase game and try to get the puck behind their defensemen and then beat them to it, but uh, they were very, very complimentary to the Boston Bruins in saying that they're playing their game, they're bottling them up, they're keeping Detroit to the outside. So Detroit says we can have all the energy in the world, but if we're still letting Boston dictate how this game is going to be played, we could be in trouble. So expect the Red Wings to start very fast tonight and try to dump the puck over the Bruins and try to beat them to the puck in the Bruins zone. Uh, Mike Babcock then said that, you know, everybody can talk about what's been going on, but he said this, the key to this series has been thus far is that the Bruins have played better defense than the Detroit Red Wings. That's why the Red Wings trail two games to one. Uh, Babcock went on and on about, uh, uh, about the kids brought the Red Wings to the playoffs. However, it's now up to some of the veterans, and Johan Franzen was singled out by the media. Uh, Mule has not talked to the media since the playoffs began about and Babcock agreed, but he didn't want to go and criticize him. He said, listen, we need everybody to pitch in. But we really know we need our young guys to have examples of how to do it in the playoffs. He cited when uh, Datsuk was, uh, uh, had a 23-game goalless drought in the playoffs and said he couldn't play in the playoffs. He says it takes time for youngsters to get their feet wet and to realize what the playoffs are all about. So uh, hopefully tonight some of the veteran players, maybe a Todd Bertuzzi, maybe a Henrik Zetterberg if he plays. It looks like he's going to. Uh, you know, Pavel Datsuk, hopefully some of the veterans can uh, uh, show the way for the youngsters tonight because that's what the veterans are going to need. They're going to need poise and leadership. And as much as the kids are provided, it's a lot to ask for them to provide it in a crucial game four. Well, that'll do it from uh, the site here. So, Arena. again, the Bruins are out there for their morning skate. Uh, until we meet again, have a safe and pleasant one. I'm Art Regner for FoxSportsDetroit.com.